We Jews are the world's miner's canary. In 1973, I was on a St. Louis radio station during the Arab oil embargo. And a non-Jewish caller called up and he said the following. He said, you know, I don't understand. You Jews seem to be the tail that wags the dog. You want America to take great concern over the Jews of Russia and exacerbate tensions with the other superpower? You want us to help Israel and have hostile, therefore more hostile relations with those who have our oil. What gives with you Jews? Are you the tail that wags the dog? My answer to him, it was as true today as it was then. We Jews are the world's miners' canary. Miners take canaries down to mines because canaries are more susceptible to noxious fumes than humans are. When there's a noxious fume, the canary dies. The miner sees the canary die and knows it's time to fight those fumes and get out. When there's evil, unfortunately, we Jews die first. Foolish non-Jews conclude that the canary is at fault. Intelligent non-Jews understand that there are noxious fumes that if they do not combat will hurt them. We die first, the good non-Jews of the world die second. That's the lesson. It took the World Trade Center bombing to take Hamas seriously in America. It's too bad. Maybe had we taken it seriously sooner, a few families would have had their fathers and brothers and sons in New York. My friends, the enemies of Israel are not the Boy Scouts of the world. The enemies of Israel is Iran, which is destroying its Baha'is, Sudan, which actually crucifies blacks. New York Times article a couple of months ago, but didn't get to see that on CNN. Iraq, which, which is a living concentration camp for its own people. Syria, which destroyed 20,000 of its own citizens in just one fairly well-known operation a few years ago. Hamas, whose agenda is the destruction of anyone who opposes their theocracy. Those are the enemies of Israel. They are also the enemies of good people. It is not a position we Jews asked for, but when we make this known to non-Jews, they will understand why we are here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Tom.